everyone welcome back to the craft room so I was looking at my alphabet challenge the other week and it was C for corners and I was trying to figure out what to do and I found all these corner dies now I used a different die in the actual challenge but I thought I'm going to use some of these and see what I can do so these are the dies that I have in my stash and I thought I would try and make a couple of cards with them. So let's start with this one. Um, this is a very small um, A2 size and what I've done is I have taken this lilac paper and just measured it and die cut using this sort of harlequin die. So I will just glue this in place. So yeah, it's quite interesting when I do the alphabet challenge. What I find is that I come across all sorts of things that I've forgotten I've had. And it gives me an opportunity to play and use all the things. So I'm just going to stick that on there and then I have taken a tonic word die so I've cut the mat on it as well and I'm just going to glue this along the top. So there's quite a lot of colour and pattern in here. I'm not going to make it any more fussy than it is there. No. I'm just going to let that sit and stick. So there you go. I'm going to trim these off once the glue dries a wee bit. So let me pop that to the side and I will show you this one. So this is a piece of uh, paper that I found in the stash, just a floral image. And I want to pick out some of the colours that are in it. So I've used this sort of, um, it's almost like a trellis corner die. And I just want to poke out all these little pieces. And just to try and use up some of the things like the coloured paper that I have here as well, try and use them up in different ways. There we go. Okay, so we'll just glue this one on as well. and then across there. Now I want to be able to pick out some of the other colours on this paper and so I have chosen uh, the orange to cut some flowers. These are flower dies. I don't use flower dies very often so I'm not sure how this is going to work out but again it's something that I need to use, experiment with. So would I shape them? flat so but leave space for a sentiment too and either I'm going to offset the petals there or 
offset the petals there. I'm going to get a, a little sparkle. Use the green just to contrast. Need to let that glue set. There we go. There we go. So let me check and see if this is dry enough for me to trim. So here's another two entries to the corner die or C for corner in the alphabet challenge. These are using corner dies. And as I say, we've got lots more here that we could try and play with and begin to use a little bit more often. So I hope you like these cards and uh, please feel free to comment and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. So take care and bye for now.